Hey guys, uh, it's Funtage from Hack Forums here. Um, look, none of you guys are going to know who I am, but basically what I'm here today to do is I'm going to give you guys a pretty in-depth walkthrough of um, uh, Netscope's newest program, Social Scope. Um, this is from the same guys who created Boostergram, Famousbook, Critter, and Tumblaster. Um, if you don't know what they are, I'm not going to go into right now, but they were basically programs that changed the social media um, monetizing scene forever. Um, so yeah, without further ado, what I'm going to show you is I've got fame, uh, I've got a famous, uh, sorry, a Facebook module for Social Scope. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be showing you through uh, the Facebook side of things for uh, Social Scope and all the features it has. Um, so basically, when you start, you get presented with an account manager screen. So this account manager screen here has all of the um, accounts that you put in yourself. So you can see I've had a bit of a fiddle around here. Um, I put on all my accounts. They're all green, which means they're all valid. If there was one that had incorrect information in, it'd be red. So yeah, basically what I can do with all these accounts is I can use these accounts to use these features down the side here. So if you have a look, oh, sorry, I'll just get rid of these because I was using them earlier. Um, you've got add friends, suggest friend requests, accept friend requests, reject friend requests, like, suggest page like, join event, and suggest event join. Um, I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible because I know the longer things get, the boring it uh, more boring it becomes so I'll just keep this uh, as short as I can um, so add friend basically what you can do is you can add uh, you can choose an account to receive friend requests so basically what I can do is I can use all of these accounts here to send a friend request to an individual person um, let's see if I've got one whoops I've already used this account for friend requests um, but basically what I did earlier um, I'll just show you uh, what I did because I've just used it just then and I had an editing stuff up um, basically what I did is I used that on here and I've got 63 from requests just from the program. Um, I'll show you all the other features in depth, but just for this one, I can't because I just did it accidentally. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are all from requests that I just sent from, um, these here. So what you can do is if you press start series, it'll do, it'll send one friend request at a time then move on to the next one. If you do start parallel, it will do all of them simultaneously. So um, start parallel is a much faster way, but start series is just if you want it to go slower, I guess. If you, yeah, for some reason you want it to go slower, um, that's a pretty neat feature there. So you, the amount of accounts you got in there, the amount of frame requests you'll be able to send. So 73, um, you can look here. Let's have a look. Uh, view all. So I've got 60 fun, uh, friend, 61 frame requests. I accepted a few earlier too, um, so I'm not going to have exactly. Um, that amount, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, the next feature here we've got is suggest friend requests. Now, if you used a uh, famous book, you will know exactly what this is. Um, basically, what you can do is you can input an account. So, for example, I can use this James Franklin account. Um, this is a fake alias, by the way. It's not who I am. Don't bother searching it up. Um, so, what I can do is I can paste my own uh, URL in here, and then with all these accounts that I've put in there, they will suggest to their friends to add this account. So basically, um, you could do this manually, but it will take forever. So let's have a look at a friend I've got. Um, I'll add this person, Georgia Joe Hannison. Um, what I would normally do if I was doing this manually is go friends, suggest friend requests, and then look how long this is going to take to suggest all my friends to her. I imagine if I had a thousand friends, this would take forever. Um, basically, what I'm doing though is, oh, let's have a look here. Yeah, got another friend request that just came in. Um, basically, what I'm doing here is I'm running all of these accounts. I'm running like 10 accounts at once at the moment um, to suggest all of their friends to one single account. So as you can see here, they're all going ham. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're all, they're all sending me friend, uh, suggestions. So they all suggest to their friends to add me. And then in the end, I should get a few thousand um, suggestions that come through, which could very well turn into friend requests. Um, I've used on a few of my accounts before back in the famous book days and I ended up having 58,000 subscribers and that only took me a few hours of work. So, and I make thousands of dollars off those 58,000 subscribers. So imagine what you can do with this when you can run 73 accounts at once. So yeah, no, very powerful um, tool. Um, so except friend requests, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, all of these accounts here, if you run it, um, basically what it'll do is it'll accept all the pending friend requests that these, these accounts have. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, useful if you don't want to manually do it yourself. Um, the same thing with reject friend requests, except of course this time it will just reject them instead. Um, so it'll just reject any pending friend requests it has. Um, this feature here, like, that's pretty nifty actually. Um, what like does is it actually lets you, um, so you can 
input a, a URL to a status, comments, photo, or page URL, and it'll use all of these accounts here to like that status, page, photo, or page URL. Um, let's go to an account. Um, let's have a look. Who can I use that will this will work for? I've just got to find someone who's got a public profile picture. Um, I'm not going to use mine. I'm just going to use someone else's so that way you can see that it actually works. Um, sorry, bear with me for two seconds. Teddy Thomas, let's have a look at this guy. Okay, you see he has a shared with public, shared with public his photo, so I can use this. Has no likes on his photo. I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to come back to Social Scope. Now, I'm in the Like tab. And the good thing about this, too, is you can run multiple tabs at once, so multiple uh, strings. So I'm suggesting friends. I'm also rejecting friends, and I can also like pictures and stuff at the same time as everything. Yeah, so that's really, really good feature, actually, um, multi-thread. Um, so I'm going to paste this in... Uh, start parallels so i'm going to start parallel i'm going to get all these accounts to like this random guy's picture teddy thomas um that's definitely not me i would not admit to having a name like that uh, as we can see here let's have a look seven it had no it had no likes before seven eight nine ten this guy's going to feel like a king when he comes on and he sees that he's got randomly all these likes on his photo um you can see down the bottom here too it's got a progress bar so you can see how far along it is into the actual um, string, like the actual, yeah, query that you're running, um, or the function, I guess, I can't think of a word, sorry, I just got my wisdom teeth out, I'm not feeling too well, um, but yeah, so you can see that, let's have a look, it's likes have gone up again, he's at 43, 44, 45, that'll just keep going up until it hits about, or until it hits all the accounts, so 73, um, I'll move on to the next feature while that one's doing it, oh, actually, I'll show you another one, um, why not, let's have a look, um, so I just made a fresh account, a uh, fresh page, just since, this one has, so it says, be the first person to like. So best find Instagram videos. This is just an idea of something you could do. Um, I can use that like feature as well to like my page. So let's have a look. Um, like, I'll open up a new instance of the like. Um, I will post my page in here. Press enter. And now all of these people here will like my page as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, sorry, I was just making sure it was recording. So I had no one. It said, be the first person to like this. I'm going to refresh it now. 10 likes. Um, that's just from this, just going through, you can see three seconds ago, five seconds ago, five seconds ago. There we go, likes are flying in at the moment. Um, you can see that one's 32% done. This one's, this other one that I used on this kid's profile is done. So let's have a look. 69, 70, 71, 72. 72 likes, that's just from using this, um, which is really cool. So now we've got here, I've got it over the page. Um, you can see, so 47 likes, that's still increasing as more things go through. Um, so you can see that one works. So here we go. Suggest page like. This is probably the most useful feature actually um, well, that I've found so far because I've, I'm a big page fanatic at the moment. So it's a phase I'm going through. Um, so what you can do is you can get the page uh, link of your page to like this. And what I will do is I will um, go to suggest page like. So I'm opening up this. Um, then I'm going to go start series. I'll just show you a demonstration of a start series. So it just does one at a time. Um, basically what this is going to do is it's going to suggest to all of these people in my account manager list to suggest the page. So su suggest to people to like my page. So all of their friends have just, so these 339 people have just got a notification to like this page. Um, now it's moving on to Dilby. So he's going to send 800 people and they're all going to get a notification requesting them to like my page. So I'm at 73 likes at the moment. That's the amount that I had. Um, well, that's the amount of accounts I have in there. So if I get anything past 73, you know that it's starting to work. Um, so we'll give it a couple of seconds while it sends these notifications through. Usually it takes a couple of minutes for it to pop up on their screen. Um, hopefully it'll be quicker for this demonstration. I just made one just before as well. Um, in a previous demonstration, I did You Laugh, You Lose. That's a 360 likes now. Um, these all just came from there. So I, yeah, I literally put this poster up, this picture up like t an hour ago. Use that like like uh, the auto like feature on here. So I've got 83 likes in there. Um, let's go back to best find. See if we've got likes now. Okay, so 74. It's slowly going up, um, but you can see definitely that it is working. Um, I'll come back to this in a bit and I'll, we'll check the progress. I'll just move on to the next feature just to try and make this video as short as I can for you guys. Um, another feature we've got here is the join event. So you can individually uh, make all these people join the event. Um, so for example, if I made an event about a party, um, I could get all these people to join the event. Um, 
another feature that's really good is the suggest event join. So you can suggest to all of these people's friends to join the event. Um, well, actually, it's not suggesting. It actually it puts them in the, in the event, and then they can decide whether or not they want to attend. So you could have a message in the event, like you could say, click here um, to download my free ebook or something like that. And then what you do is you suggest the event to all these people's friends. And then next thing you know, you have 30,000 people in the event who will see your link. Um, whether or not they click on it will be up to them, um, you know, but it is a good way to get your message out there. So you can see this one's going up slowly, 76 likes. Um, give it a few more minutes and once all of these suggestions have gone through, it'll actually increase a lot faster. Um, if you've seen a few of my threads on uh, Hack Forums, you can see that I actually started this Broshi Squats page two days ago. It was on 7,000 likes. After 12 hours of using this tool, I'm on 13,617 and this goes up dramatically. So we'll go to the, uh, we'll have a look here, new likes, 6,377. So you can see that these, this is the amount of new likes I've got just in the past couple of days. That's just from using this tool and that's just from simply um, running this. So suggest page like. Once this has all gone through, you'll see a lot more likes flying in, um, which is definitely what's happened here. My page is getting bigger and bigger and I'm going to use that to monetize in the future. Um, look, here you go, 85 likes. So, yep, it's increasing. Um, like I said, as more of these go through, you'll see it increasing faster and faster. So, just have to wait for this, all these suggestions to go through. Um, but basically, I hope you guys enjoy this quick walkthrough. Um, basically, it, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. There may have been a feature or two I left out, but I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible. Um, just so you guys have a fairly good understanding of what this tool can actually do and the possibilities you have with it um it's endless c90 likes um look i'm gonna i'm yeah i'm gonna turn this video off i think you guys have a fair idea if you have any questions feel free to post on the thread um you can also find this tool i'll leave a link in the description so you can find it on hack forums so just go to hackforums.net and search up uh social scope you'll find the thread there you can find where how to purchase it and whatnot and look guys i didn't have to make this video this is all of my own accord um, I just have that much faith and I just appreciate the creators for making this that much that I volunteer to make it. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys have likewise, um, results and yeah, too easy. Have a good one guys. See ya.